And the next question is from Joe Aberdeen. Any advice on unique, effective, and ethical ways to market pre-sales of self-published fiction books on Amazon that doesn't involve the usual pump and dump book launch scheme? Oh man, I don't even know what the pump and dump scheme is. So um, the, I the thought first I was the only one. <laughs> no, I have no idea. So the first thing I would say is get professional help uh, on this from somebody who's an expert in this field. Uh, I would the person I recommend the most is a fellow named um, Dan Blank, uh, WeGrowMedia.com. But there's tons of people out there who are book coaches. So I'm not a book coach, so I'm not. I don't have the uh, specialization in this direct area. Broadly speaking, I would say though, is the hubs thing, right? So marketingforhippies.com slash steps, step five, all my stuff about hub marketing. This is the first question. Okay, who are the likely readers of this book? Who's already got a relationship with the readers uh, of my potential, uh, potential readers of my book? And then how do I get in front of their crowds? How do I get those people to spread the word about the book? That to me is the fastest uh, way to do it. And of course there's tiny hubs, you know, and then there's big hubs like Oprah. And, uh, you know, get as big as you're able to get. And if you're just starting it, you're, you're kind of a no name in the, in the scene, well, that's gonna be smaller hubs, but you can also work your way up. The other thing I would suggest in terms of launching a book, there's a big question of, is the goal to launch a book and make a bunch of sales on a book? Or is the goal that this book is connected to your business model in some way? So you actually don't make a lot of money on the book, but the book um, builds credibility and helps you uh, reach more people. Uh, is a kind of a what you call a loss leader, meaning you you lose money on it, but it it feeds your business. And or do you um, is there a longer term goal of building a following uh, and a community or a crowd or whatever as an author? Because if the goal is just how do I launch this book and make a big splash and make money on the book, I just don't think that's the best goal. Uh, I don't think, not just for an author, but for any business. I mean, how do you do a launch, make a big splash, make a bunch of money? There's lots of ways to do that. But to me, the most important goal is how do you build a sustainable business model and sustainable following over time? And then how does a book play into that um, in particular? Because certainly you can, you can market initially in such a way that doesn't contribute to those two goals. And you can win today, but lose tomorrow. And I'd rather see people lose a little bit today, but win tomorrow um, and build a, a real uh, steady following. But did I miss anything? Joe, well, I'm just noticing that um, Joe did specify that it was fiction books. Does that make a difference? Yeah, what it's, it's no, same thing. Yeah. So if it's a fiction book, um, well, what are the themes you're writing about? What are the types of people who would probably like your work, uh, who would like these kinds of stories? And yeah, my guess is there's a kind of theme that most authors have. There's a sort of type of thing they write about. They write about certain cultures or they write about certain eras of time or, um, yeah. And so figuring out what your thing is the, the danger is, no, I just, but I'm a writer. You see, this is the boat and this boat can go anywhere. That's the beautiful thing about writing. And so, uh, no, I'm not gonna constrain myself to any particular focus. I'm just gonna be an author and I just write about whatever I wanna write about. And and uh, some of them will be very sad books and some of them will be happy and some will be in the past and some of them will be sci-fi and some of them will be romance and some of them will be Western and some of them will be a romantic Western and then some of them will be comedy. And like, you see what I'm saying? It It's very hard then to figure any strategy out because we don't know who it is you're trying to reach. And, you know, uh, I would also recommend, there's a few videos and a, uh, I have on this, just search Tad Hargrave, uh, artist and entrepreneur on YouTube. 
uh, it may be useful. Uh, this dynamic of, yeah, part of us just wants to create whatever we want to create, we're inspired by, but then if it's a business, which is an important question for everybody, is what you're doing a business and you want to make this grow long-term and be a sustainable thing, or is this a uh, hobby for you? It's just a, you know, this is your artistic endeavor, which is great. I mean, there's no problem with that. But it's good to be clear about what it is. Because if it's a hobby, just do whatever you want to do. I mean, don't don't be constrained by any thinking about strategy. But if it's a business, those things really need to come into consideration. Amazing. Thanks, Ted. Um, Jamie Crawford Storytelling had commented uh, also about Dan Blank on that on the thread. So there we are. You've got the link there, Joe. 